All right, um, here's another one of my uh, motors. Um, the other one in the other video, the uh, rotation, showing how to rotate the uh, or change the rotation of that motor. That was a Dayton, and this is a Dayton also. Um, it's just a little different model. Um, there is, I know you guys can't, well, maybe you can see it, but there's a little wiring diagram right here on this one too. Um, and to uh, change the rotation on a motor like this, uh, it's too it's too small to see, but um, counterclockwise rotation facing shaft interchange leads T5 and T8 for counterclockwise rotation. So uh, what you would do there is um, this is wired for high, and uh, when you got it uh, on this type of motor, um, they're all probably going to be different, but. Um, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to have these three wires that are taped together, and it says so in those uh, on that little wiring diagram there. You got these three wires uh, tied together, and then where the hot wire comes in, this one here, you got two wires coming in there, and then one going into where the uh, neutral is. So um, to change the rotation, um, there's uh, interchange T8 and T5. So in this little harness here, um, or these three wires, you find T8, which is this lead right here. You take it out, and then you take T5 over here and take that one out, and then put T5 in with uh, this here, and then take uh, T8 and put that in with the hot, and then your motor now goes uh, counterclockwise. So... Um, this one originally goes clockwise, so that's how you would change the rotation on uh, one of these motors here. Um, this is uh, kind of my shitty motor. Um, bearings are kind of wrecked in it. It's got ball bearings. When I found it, it was sitting outside, and uh, it was seized solid, and I had to put a pair of vice grips on it and kind of work the shaft loose, so it's... It's kind of messed up, but um, I'll plug it in anyway and let you guys hear it. Uh, it sounds horrible. It makes like a grinding noise and some other stuff. and It's probably not going to last much longer, but it's good for video purposes and stuff like that, so that's mostly what I use it for. But I will plug it in, and you guys can hear how horrible this thing sounds. So, Alright, let me uh, get it set up here. Alright, so I got it on the floor, so, um, you know, when you, when you, uh, take this shaft, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's real stiff, it's not, you know, it doesn't glide like a normal motor would, but, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty stiff, but, um, this, uh, this motor here, you can wire this up for, uh, 230, or uh, uh, 230 or 115, 120. So I got it wired just for 120. But uh, anyway, here we go. I'll plug it in, and you guys can hear how nasty this thing sounds. So, all right, here we go. So, there you go. It, uh, see how quick it stops when I unplug it. So, that's, uh, yeah, the bearings are definitely dry. Um, there's no way to lube it either. Um, you know, there's no little uh, flipper thing to uh, drop oil in. So, um, you know, otherwise, unless I take it apart and, you know, put new bearings in it or something. But, Anyway, that's uh, that's how nasty it sounds, and but uh, it is what it is. So, all right, I'll see you later.